Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Savannah. For those of you who are new to my channel, hello, welcome. I am a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark and today I have a giant haul from the Goodwill Outlet. If you don't know what the Goodwill Outlet is, it is a place where you pay by the pound. Um, the outlet that I go to in Denver is a dollar and 29 cents a pound and I have not been there in three months since before I had my baby Asher. I'm in his nursery right now. Um, it is the only place that was quiet enough and had enough room for me to film all this stuff right now. So um, he's downstairs taking a nap with my husband, watching him. So yes, I didn't want to wake him up. Anyways, um, <laughs> I went to the Goodwill outlet for the first time since having him. I don't remember the last time that I had taken that much time away from the Goodwill outlet. I don't think I've ever taken three months off from being there. I missed it very much and it was really nice to be back. I found some really good stuff. I got 85 pounds of things. I spent like seven hours there, which was a lot. Um, yeah. But I got some good stuff. So I'm going to show you what I got, tell you what I am going to list it for and that's all. Okay, so the first thing I have is a Fox Racing sweatshirt, just a good gray and black hoodie. This brand sells pretty well for me on eBay, um, and it is hoodie season. It's a size large. I think this is a women's large, I would assume, um, but I'll price this for about $30. When I told you how many pounds I got. I got like 85 pounds, so it ended up being like $115 with tax. So, yeah. Um, this is a Vineyard Vines. There's a little fluff ball on it. A Vineyard Vines. I think they call this the Shep shirt. I haven't found one of these in a long time, but it's like a quarter zip pullover sweatshirt. It's in really good condition. It just needs to be steamed. Um, it's a size extra large, and I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the men's. Very cute. Um, this will sell well. These used to sell really well, but I haven't found one in so long. There's a bunch of like little fluffy things on this, but uh, I'll probably price it around like $40. I'll have to check comps on that, but it will sell. I know that. Oh, this is super cute. I don't pick up a lot of Torrid because honestly, I have a hard time selling it. Um, I'll pick up Torrid for myself, but this I got to resell. It is a size 4, which is a 4X. And it's this comic book print skirt. It's really cool. So yeah, I don't know. I'll probably price it at like $20. It's in really good condition. This is... I can never pronounce this. But it is an anthropology brand. And this is so pretty. It's a floral print, a little peasant blouse with little buttons, size zero. Um, this will probably price around $25, but super lightweight. So I love finding stuff like this at the bins. This curtain keeps moving. This is going to drive me insane. Hold on. Okay, I got the curtain out of the way. <laughs> keeps blowing because our air is on and the vent is right here. So anyways, um, this is a logo, Lori Goldstein. Last I checked, this brand was sold at QVC. This desperately needs to be steamed, but it's a really pretty blush tunic with a little ruffle hem, long sleeve, size large. If I was a fan of pink, I would probably keep this. It's definitely like an oversized large, but I don't really wear a lot of pink, so I'll sell it. I'll list it for about $25. I got a lot of really good kid stuff um, during this trip, but a lot of it, unfortunately, is girls' clothes, and I have a boy, so it will be listed. Uh, this is a Hannah Anderson size US 5, I think that says, little pink hooded fleece jacket, and I like selling this brand. Typically, I sell their pajamas, but this will sell really well. Um, I'll probably price it at like 20 bucks, nothing crazy, but it is light. And it will sell. Another really pretty girls thing. This is a Gap, Baby Gap and Disney collaboration. And it's a little mermaid with flounder. 
little dress with like this tulle skirt. It's adorable. It is a size, I think that says five. So it's probably all from the same little girl, but the cutest stuff. This is a Fabletics. Oh, sorry, I didn't say I was gonna list that at. Probably $20 for that um, Disney piece. This is an extra large Fabletics white sweatshirt. And I looked this over for stains. I did not see any, but I'm gonna have to like triple check it. It's a very oversized fit, like a V-neck. And again, I'll probably price it around $25, which is a really um, good price point for me from the bins. I like to sell stuff for around like $15 to $20 from the bins. Obviously, there's going to be a couple pieces that were home run pieces and will sell for more, but sorry, this is inside out. <laughs> um, but I like to at least be around that $15 to $20 mark. I don't find this brand often, but it sells well when I do. It's Marine Layer. This is a striped, I don't know, is this a dress? It's probably like a tunic. I don't know. It's kind of that length where it could be either, like a short dress or a tunic. It might actually be a dress. Anyways, <laughs> it's like a nice like sweatshirt weighted dress, size small. And I don't remember the last time I found this brand or what it sells for, but probably in like the $35 range. Sorry if you're seeing a bunch of dust floating around. I am right by the window. <laughs> I just have so many distractions right now and it is very bright. So I feel like you are seeing every little dust particle from this clothing. Um, this is a Mata Traders printed dress, size medium, yes. This brand sells well for me. I have no idea where it's actually sold, but I have found it in the past and it sells. It's definitely a more summery dress, but usually I get like 25 to $30 for them. Probably more around 25 for that since it is sleeveless. This is a J. McLaughlin, this almost feels like a swimsuit top. I'll have to do some research on that. It's like stretchy, but long sleeve, size extra small, probably around $20. That's what I'll price that one at. Oh, this is so adorable. <laughs> I love this. I'm obsessed with bumblebees. And this is a J. Crew size four, little eyelet blouse with bumblebees on it how adorable is this i love it i have a feeling this one will do good i'll probably price it around 35 dollars this is a i don't know if it's caramel or caramel baby and child london size eight little corduroy shorts these are so adorable for fall and this brand is pretty expensive. Um, these I'll probably price like 25 to 30, which is quite a bit for kids clothing. That brand is really expensive. This is cute. I love champion stuff for myself. Um, this is a champion size large, women's all over print, light blue crew neck sweatshirt. Um, this one will probably go for about $30. Sorry, I'm going kind of fast, but there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> okay, so this dress, I remember, had some staining. Does the zipper not work? Hold on. No, it was just caught. Um, but it is beautiful, so I think I will try and get the staining out. It is Maeve, which is sold at Anthropology, size 6. Has really pretty beading on the front, and it has like a gingham plaid check prints but you can see the staining i think it's coffee which should be able to get out with like an oxyclean soak but if not it wasn't very expensive so i figured i would give it a shot it's very pretty so 
we'll see. I don't know what I'm gonna price that one at because I don't know if it'll get listed. It depends if the stains come out. <laughs> so this somebody threw back. Um, I did not see any holes. There is some pilling, but I can pill shave this. It is equipment, which is very expensive, size small. This like Kelly green sweater. It feels like cashmere, but I did not check when I was there. Yes, 100% cashmere. So even with the wear, um, I think it was worth it. I should be able to get uh, like $35. It's not really showing up true to color. It's more of like a Kelly green, not a light green, but super soft. This is a We The Free from Free People, extra small plaid flannel tunic shirt. I don't really sell We The Free very well. For some reason it doesn't um, sell well for me, but I thought this was cute. It has pockets. It's perfect for fall. So I'll price this for probably $25 and see what happens. I was excited to find this. This definitely needs to be lint rolled. Um, this is a Bolo brand, I would say. It is a men's brand, or at least I've only found men's stuff from this company. It's called Croon. And this feels like cashmere, I'll have to check. It is this plaid sport coat with what feels like suede, but it's probably faux suede, elbow patches. And in the past, I have sold the cotton dress coats from this company in the $50 range, but this is a cotton and wool blend. And then it has the style. It's a size 42. But um, I should be able to sell this one for more. And this is perfect for fall and winter. Um, I'm assuming I'll probably price it around 70 and see what happens because other than needing a lint roll, it is in very excellent condition. Oh, this is so adorable. And this is kind of one of the things, I don't really save a lot of baby clothing. Well, I, okay, that's a lie. <laughs> I did before my son was born, but I don't know when we're gonna have a baby again. Not for a little bit. And who knows if we're gonna have a girl or another boy. This is vintage baby Oshkosh bagosh. And so it's like a little overall denim dress. So these button in the front, I'm just not gonna do that right now. And you can see the baby bagosh, little floral embroidery. Oh, so cute. Um, what size are you? I have no idea what size this is. But how adorable is that? And I know some of this vintage, like the overalls from Oshkosh Bagosh can go for a lot of money. I have no idea about these dresses. I don't know, probably like $20, maybe less, maybe more. I have no idea. This is a super pretty color. I'm obsessed with this color for fall. Um, showing up a little lighter again than it actually is, but <laughs> what can you do? It is a soft surroundings, really chunky knit cardigan. Ooh, was there a snag? Oh, it looks like there is a tiny snag. But that's okay, it'll still sell. Um, it is like a kind of camely brown color. It's showing up lighter. What size are you? Usually the size is in the inside. Yeah, size small. But it's just a long, kind of looks like a dress, but just a knit sweater. It's kind of heavy, but hopefully I'll be able to get at least $30 for that. These are fun and they're new with tags. Um, so I'm actually gonna pack a box for Thread Up and I might stick these in that box. They are the Bridget High Rise Skinny from Lucky Brand. Just nice skinny jean, size six. They're an ankle skinny, it looks like. But brand new with tags. Yeah, I think those will go to Thread Up. These might also go to thread up. They are a pair of girls, Adriano Goldschmied, twiggy, skinny jeans. I think they're a size 14. I remember looking these over, but they're definitely girls. But they're in really good shape. So I grabbed them and I'll probably go to thread up. I'm trying to get into thread up. 
a little bit because with a baby, it is hard to list things. So <laughs> I figure I can send some of them off and it will save me some time. This is a J. Crew size six um, eyelet dress. Has like the seersucker striping. And then the back actually ties, but you can see it ties up here. Just like a little shift dress. Um, probably will be priced in like the $30 range. This is definitely very summery, but it will sell eventually. Okay, these are for my son, Asher. These are so cute. And they're Ralph Lauren, uh, size six months. These are so soft. These kind of look bigger, but um, they are a velvet velour little footy PJ. Oh, these are so cute. These will be really cute for around Christmas time if he fits into them by then. I love finding stuff for him at the bins. Okay, I hit a nice little bin full of some good athletic wear. And I'm really excited about it because typically um, that does not happen to me. <laughs> Other people find it, not me. Uh, I find good stuff, but usually not a lot of athletic wear. But today I found some good, or not today, the other day when I went, I found some good athletic wear. So this is an Athleta size small, little tank top, obviously needs to be steamed. And this is what the back looks like. It has like this open, this open layered back, little logo. It's kind of hard to see, there you go. But it's in excellent condition. And this I will probably price around $25, like everything else in this haul. This is also in the same area, inside out. It is, oh no, was it inside out? I think I just flipped it inside out. Oh yeah, okay. It is a Lululemon tank top and it's like the silver essence material so it kind of has like a little bit of metallic weave in there you probably won't be able to see it on camera this is the back this is the front Ooh. the front oh that looked like there's a mark that looks like it's part of the weave i don't know hmm might be a stain i'll try and get it out but this is like a muscle crop top very cute. I'm assuming this is like a four or a six because the other stuff from this bin was all that size or it was a size small. So again, probably $25 for that, maybe a little bit more. Oh, I love this sweater. This is a J. Crew factory size medium sweater with pine trees and a skier on it. I feel like this might be like a desired sweater. I don't know. It's really cute. Um, it's definitely a wool blend and this I'll probably price around $35. I keep saying probably because I have not looked up comps on a lot of this stuff. So it might be priced for that much, but it might be priced for something differently. Just the estimate. Uh, this is another item from the cute little girls clothes I found. It is little Mark Jacobs size four dress with Oh, uh, is that a toucan? Maybe some kind of tropical bird and some tropical leaves and a little skirt. Adorable. Again, around 20 to $25 for that. I also found some really great J. Jill pieces, which sell well for me on eBay. I actually have sold some on Poshmark too, but this is a size 4X and it's linen, which is a double good thing to look for uh, when it comes to J. Jill, plus size and linen. And it desperately needs to be steamed. But other than that, it is in great condition. It is this light yellow color, long sleeve. Oh, and it actually was at the Goodwill store. It has a Goodwill tag on it. So yeah, just a nice tunic blouse. This I will most likely price around 35 to $40. Uh, what are you? One of my favorite brands to resell. This has a little bit of pilling and wear, but it will still sell. It is cool. Women's uh, size extra small. This little striped hooded sweatshirt. 
probably price it for $30. I need to stop saying probably, but that's probably what I'll price it for. <laughs> uh, this is another one of those Athleta tank tops, the exact same style, size small, and it is gray with the open back. Ooh. Adorable. A Madewell size extra small, little linen v-neck. This I'll probably only get like $15 for. Okay, one Ikea bag down. Five million to go. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, this is a free people size large. This is adorable. Has this eyelet lace embroidery, little Henley top, long sleeve. Some of these do very good. Um, hopefully I can get around 30 to 35 for this one. I found a bin full of so many of these pants and I'm so, so, so excited about it. Um, I love selling riding breeches for like equestrian horseback riding and they sell so well. This is the brand Kentucky. I don't think I've sold this brand before, but it looked like it was selling for around $40 pre-owned. Uh, size 30. But just a pair of riding breeches. Um, I don't know. There's like full seat not full seat. I don't know what these are, but I know they're riding breeches. I'll have to see if this is genuine suede or leather. It kind of feels like it, but either way, they will sell well. And I love finding them. They sell super quick. Another pair of Lululemon. Ooh, I think these are like the hottie hot short. Mm, don't quote me. They're a gray color the logo little zippered pocket they're in pretty good condition size eight those usually sell for around thirty dollars oh, this is one of my most exciting finds of the haul i'm just a sucker for lululemon i love it for myself but i also love it to resell especially from the bins and when it's a beautiful jacket it is in such great condition. It's a little Lulu logo Ooh, on the zipper. I don't remember what this print is called or the jacket style. There's a logo on the back. And this was a size six, I believe. Let's see, where is the size dot? There it is, size six. Um, typically, Lululemon size dots on jackets um, or bras will be in the left pocket or like the left cup of the bra. Yes, this should do well, like $65 well, somewhere around there. Great condition. Love it. I don't know what this is, so if anyone knows this brand, please let me know. It was in the brand, in the brand. I'm just tongue-tied. Can you tell I have a newborn and don't sleep much anymore? <laughs> Ugh. Um, this is, I don't know, but it was in the bin with all the Lululemon and Athleta, so I got it. Some athletic brand, not sure what it is, and it needs to be washed. This is an Anthropology Sparrow cardigan with little ruffle detail it was sold at goodwill they wanted 5.99 for it it's cute um sparrow doesn't really sell that much for me um or for that much for me rather and this is missing a belt because it has little belt loops but i think it's cute enough to still grab especially at the bins maybe i can get 20 bucks for it 20 to 25 Okay, so maybe I should not have picked this up. I noticed I had a flaw when I got home. St. John, cashmere, but it has a hole. Um, it's a pretty decent size hole. 
I can probably just like auction it on eBay. I think that's the only hole. It is cashmere and it is St. John, but I have no idea. That'll get for that. Another pair of Lululemon pants from the same bin as all the other Lululemon and Athleta. But these kind of threw me off because the logo is very tiny. I've never seen this before. I don't know if you can tell how tiny it is like compared to, I don't have any other Lulu things that are on the other side of the room now, but um, I'm pretty positive they're real. The logo definitely looks real and it feels like Lulu quality. The logo is just very tiny and I've never seen that before. So as long as everything checks out, I should be able to get 35 to 40 for these little crops. I have no idea what this brand is and I couldn't really read it at the bins, but it said Paris on the tag. The tag looks expensive and it's alpaca, I'm pretty sure. 100% alpaca. I think it says, oof, Amia Kuder. I have no idea. I tried really hard to look it up. Definitely needs some pill shaving, but it's like a zip up sweater jacket and it looked really expensive. So, oh, oh no. This is what happens when I don't look through my cart thoroughly. There's a hole. I saw it on camera, where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> Uh, dang. Well, if it's worth a lot of money, maybe it'll still sell for a little bit, but these things happen. This is an Eileen Fisher size medium, olive green, showing up lighter green, olive green cardigan. This was also at Goodwill for $4.99. It's a little cropped cardigan. It's pretty short. Um, hopefully I can get 30 bucks for this. Eileen Fisher is kind of hit or miss for me nowadays. Another pair of riding breeches and these are Ralph Lauren. And it says they're cotton. It doesn't look, I don't know, they feel like leather, but they might not be a leather breech. But they're just a green color, some fading, but that's okay. They will sell hopefully for $50. This I'm keeping for Asher when he is bigger. It is a Adriano Goldschmied little boys um, Henley hoodie. Super cute and I love the color. So I'm keeping. Uh, this is a junk food. I think this is like the Urban Outfitters junk food, not the Target junk food. It has some fuzz on it, but it is a Playboy graphic t-shirt. This should do well. It's just, it's a nice graphic. Um, like $25, I'm assuming, which is good for a t-shirt. This needs to be bleached or stain treated, but it's white, so I think it will come clean. It's a Prana size medium, a little rash guard with this like lace detail. And it just has, um, it looks like makeup or like self tanner or something on the inside, but that should come out. And once it does, I should be able to get around $30 for it. Another nice kids piece. This is Janie and Jack, size four. Adorable. Oh, I kind of want to keep this. I didn't see it looked like mountains. Maybe this will fit Asher next year, but it, I don't know. It's really cute. It's a little sweater with mountains on it. Hmm. Well, if I sell this, probably list it higher because I don't want it to sell. You guys ever do that? Uh, okay, this was an exciting find. This was in a bin that tons of people had already gone over. It's this beautiful woven blanket. I'm not gonna completely open it, it's pretty large, but I will find the tag. It is Pendleton. Look at how pretty this is. It's in such good condition. 
I love it, but we already have one. Oh, it's not hanging in here. I thought it was, but we do have one similar to this, but not any pink in it. And we do not need more blankets. <laughs> we have so many. Um, I will price this for like $75. It's gorgeous. Another pair of riding breeches. These are Eurostar. Never heard of the brand, but they're breeches. Okay, so I think these are the full seat breeches. You can see they cover the full seat. I don't know what the other style is called where it's just in the inner thigh. Um, but again, hopefully 50 bucks around there. Pick up breeches if you see them, especially carrots. That's one of my favorite brands of breeches to find. Sorry, this has a piece of fuzz on it. This is a Lululemon cool razorback tank top. That's what it's called, the cool razorback. Looks reversible. Maybe they are. I haven't found one of these in a long time. I don't find a lot of Lululemon, so. This was an exciting trip, but it's just white. It needs to be washed. I can do that. This is probably going to thread up. It's just a not very exciting free people piece, honestly. Doesn't do much for me, but it is a knit short sleeve, I guess sweater, I don't know, blouse. It's like a tunic length, but it's like a sweater knit. What is that? Is there a stain? <laughs> uh, no, okay, that was just a wrinkle in the material. I thought it was a stain, but it's not. Uh, these are going to thread up. They are new with tag. Chico's crop size six pants, nice blue color. They retailed for $69.50. So on to thread up. Um, this is a Adidas top and I got it because it's a collaboration. I don't know what it's a collaboration with though. What is that logo? I think this was in the same bin as all of that other athletic wear, but it's a really cool stretchy tank top. It almost feels like the um, Lululemon Swiftly material. Like it's very stretchy and breathable. This is the front, it kind of has like an acid wash look, but I don't know what that brand is. So if you know, please let me know. Uh, I do not know what size it is, but I would assume it's a size small because everything else in that bin was. These are adorable. A pair of Levi's, uh, 535. Yes, 535 super skinny jeans, size 27. They have nice distressing and that chewed hem that everyone loves on the bottom. In good shape. And these should sell in that $30 range. Another brand I love to find, Sundance. As I look at the tag, I knew what it was, but I had to just double check. It's a size large, little plaid eyelet lace um, tunic blouse. It's very lightweight, it's definitely more summery, but also did not cost me much. I was like this little split at the hem. Um, this all lists for $30. Another Lululemon tank top, this one's adorable, has a scalloped edge and like the space dye effect. I think that's what you would call that. Um, the logo is somewhere. Hmm. Where are you? Oh, it's on the back. Where'd it go? I just saw it. Whoa, okay, other side, there we go. There it is, <laughs> you can barely see it. It kind of blends in. But um, this, again, probably around 25 to $30. It's very soft. Another pair of riding breeches. I was so excited about these, I still am, because these sell quickly. And they're all size 30, I'm pretty sure. Another pair of Kentucky breeches. 
Okay, I'll get all of the green color and should sell for $50. I don't know what this is um, or this brand is. It was in the same bin as all of those riding breeches. So I just kind of assumed it was worth picking up. It's designed in Texas. It's called Rough Stock. Oh, maybe it is a Panhandle Slim Shark because it says that underneath. I don't know. It has a really neat print on it. Kind of like a paisley floral. It's a size small. So I don't know. Is this men's? I think it's a men's. I don't know what it's worth, but I liked it, so I grabbed it. This is pretty. It does have a couple snags, so I will have to note that. It is a Lauren Ralph Lauren Petite Extra Small slash Petite Small. But it is this fun Aztec printed cardigan, and the Ralph Lauren Aztec printed things do very well from my experience. So it's like this draped cardigan. Even with the snags, I should be able to get $30, $35 for this. It's adorable. Oh, this I might have to keep. <laughs> it's so cute. It is a Hannah Anderson size 90. I have no idea what that translates to. I'll have to look it up. Little oatmeal cardigan sweater. Oh, so stinking cute. I love this. So if I sell it, probably like $25 to $30, which is quite a bit for a kid's item, but I think that is worth it. These are Lululemon Wonder Under Crops. The logo has some wear and they definitely have some pilling, but I think I should still be able to make like $20 on them. They are a size. Oh no, I don't see a size dot in here. Uh, hmm, I don't know. Probably a size six, I would guess. Okay, let me pull this back over here. Ooh. Okay, what are you? Oh, another brand I like selling around this time of year. It is Neve Design, size large. This is a wool half zip sweater. It's pink with this black and white piping around it. These sell for about $35 to $40. So definitely a nice pickup and perfect time to find it. These have some pilling, but I'll try pill shaving them. They were light, so they're athleticized small. Um, capri pants. Go on the back. Super fun. This is so soft. You can tell this wasn't worn much. It is a Madewell size medium little swing dress. This will probably only sell for twenty, maybe twenty five dollars. But just a cute pink little tank top dress. Okay, this was one of my best finds of the trip. And typically um, I don't have gloves on so I can like feel nice materials of sweaters, but at the bins right now you have to wear gloves. So um, I couldn't really feel that this was wool, but I just really liked the print and the tag looked interesting. So I grabbed it. It is an Oleana. Um, it says the Norwegian story, which is another uh, reason I picked it up, but it's 100% pure new wool made in Norway gorgeous printed sweater and some of these are selling for $200 most of the ones selling for $200 are cardigans but this is so pretty I'm probably going to price it around $150 it's really nice I really like the square neckline and it's an excellent condition so definite bolo look for Oleana sweaters I love this. Um, it is Aryan Alley, which I have never found before, but it is anthropology and it's this rusty orangish red color. Um, did I say it was an extra small? It's an extra small. 
with this fringe on it oh, and this layered back. This is adorable. I'm hoping this does well, like maybe 35 to $40. I don't know. It is so, so cute. I love it. There's like something tied on one of these, but I will get that off. Adorable. This is also really nice and so soft. I kind of want to keep this, but I really don't enjoy the color. I'm a neutral person or more like earthy tones. This is Spiritual Gangster, this like light yellow sweatshirt. It says, salute the sun, it's a size large, zip up. It's not showing up as like fluorescent as it really is, but it's kind of like a highlighter-ish yellow, like a faded highlighter yellow. It says, live in the sunshine. So super cute, definitely like an oversized fit and this hopefully I'll get $50 for. Um, I did not look this up, but this was near um, some of that expensive kids clothing. And I had really bad cell service in the bins this time. I typically don't have bad service there, so I don't know what's going on, but I really couldn't look up much stuff. So I just kind of had to grab it. It is Lele. L-E-L-E, -L -L -E, uh, made in Lithuania, size 9, 10. How adorable is this skirt though? It's knit, a little layered. I just had to grab it. I love the bottom, like little rosettes knit on the bottom. I could just tell it was a really well made piece. I have no idea what I'm gonna get for it, but I cannot leave it behind. Oh, this is so soft. It's Athleta size extra small and this is the newer tag of Athleta. It's like this mauve colored short sleeve t-shirt. Probably around 20 bucks for that. Another J. Jill 4X linen piece. Yes, I love this. Again, hopefully around $40. Desperately needs to be steamed, but I can do that. It's like a light blue color. This is gorgeous, but this is probably going straight to thread up. It is a loft, new with tags, um, originally $79.99. Floral dress with pockets. I really like the floral print on this and the color is super pretty. But I will probably send it to thread up because loft does not do super well for me. I'll probably do better there. What else do we have? This is cute. It is, oh, the tag is all messed up, but it is soft surrounding size large. And it is a velvet detailed tunic. Very cute, it's very like bohemian looking. Again, it's showing up a little lighter. It's more of like a navy, but my window is just very bright. <laughs> um, oh, this is really cute. Uh, I think I will price this one for 35 Another Lululemon tank top that is inside out. It is black. Little black logo. This is the back. This is the front. It's pretty basic. It's like a razor back tank top. Um, again, like 25, probably $25, 20 to 25. because so it's pretty basic, nothing crazy going on there. This is another Lululemon, I think. This one needs to be washed. Where's the logo? I don't know. This has a fun open back. And it's black, but again, showing up a little lighter because my window is super bright. I don't know where the logo is. It's somewhere. And it's a black logo, so it's kind of hard to see on here. But I don't know. I don't want to spend all of this video <laughs> looking for it, but I promise it is. Um, 
I was kind of on the fence about picking this up, but it's in like new condition and this brand does well for me. It is Kavu, size large, nice olive green polka dot tank top with a little like drawstring at the bottom. This is in like new condition. It is a tank top, so I don't know. It might take a while to sell, but I had to grab it. Could not leave it behind. Oh, I was so hoping these were my size. And actually I don't know what size they are because they're Fabletics and the tag is ripped out, but they definitely look like probably a medium. Fabletics, camo. I'm not sure what material these are. I think they're like the power hold. Cause they're more like compression-y. Um, adorable, I love, 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 love camo everything. And those are super cute. Um, I'll probably get about 30 bucks for those. Okay, this is in not the greatest condition. It definitely needs to be pill shaved, but um, if I can't bring it back to life, I will just keep it. <laughs> keep all the flawed things for myself, you know? <laughs> Um, this is a Madewell Extra Large. I actually have one of these listed right now in a different size. It is an olive green, again, showing up lighter. But it has the open back. This is called the Province sweater from Madewell. So if I cannot get that in sellable condition, it will be mine. I like olive green. This is a Eileen Fisher black and white striped sweater. Has three quarter sleeves. It's very soft, size medium. I don't know what material it is. Let's see. It is, ooh, 80% silk, 20% cotton. That is why it is so soft. And this is in excellent condition. So hopefully I can get 35 to 40. That's what I'll price it at. This was a really cool find. Also needs to be washed, but I just need to get this video up. So I'm showing it to you now. It is a Adidas black and gold track jacket. Look at that. It almost looks like it's reversible, but the inside is like fleece. So I don't think it is. It's really hard to show. It's definitely a men's size medium but i will have to look into this style it's very cool should do very well hopefully around 50 dollars all right a couple more clothing pieces and then i have some shoes um i don't know if i'm gonna sell this myself or send it to thread up i do sell this brand pretty well but Oh, it is so cold from being in my car. Um, this is a Royal Robins Geneva Pont Knit Dress, new with tags. Somebody tossed this back, I don't know why. It's a really pretty maroon, like wine color. It is a long sleeve dress too, so I'll probably list this myself and not send it to thread up. Um, hopefully I can get like 35 to 40 for it since it is a long sleeve dress should be in demand. Okay, so this one I showed to one of my friends that sells vintage because the tag looked a little off to me. I couldn't tell if it was just old or possibly uh, not authentic, but I think it is authentic and so did he. It is a Tommy Hilfiger Coast Guard sweater. So it's Coast Guard. Oh yeah, and then Tommy Hilfiger with the embroidered fish. What is that, a swordfish? Um, this is in really good condition for how old it probably is. That tag looks like it's from the 80s. I'll have to do some research. I know Tommy Hilfiger is not in its prime anymore. It used to sell for a ton, especially the vintage pieces, but this is really unique and cool. So hopefully um, it'll do well. It's size large, I don't know if I said that, but I have no idea what it'll sell for. It's cool though. So I cannot leave it behind. Uh, this is a brand I was clueless on, but again, a bougie kids brand. It is Barnum, made in Italy, 70% merino wool and 30% cashmere. That's what the tag looks like. I could just tell this was worth something, but I had horrible service, so I cannot look it up. It's a size six and it's a turtleneck sweater with 
Oh, it looks like there might be a little stain on one of those sleeves. That's okay. Little elbow patches. See, I can probably get that out, but I'm always kind of nervous to work with wool and cashmere getting stains out. I have no idea how much that'll um, resell for, but I will find out. Say Madewell, size medium, eyelet skirt. Very summery, but very cute. I'll price this for 25 to 30. Probably closer to 25. Another piece, this is the last clothing piece I have. Another piece of J. Jill 3X linen pants. They're like an oatmeal, actually they're kind of more of like a light gray color. Little capri pants with pockets. Um, again, I will price these for 35 to 40. Excellent size and they're linen. Now the other curtain is flying in my way. It's okay. Um, okay, now I did get some shoes, which was exciting because I haven't been to the men's in a while, but even while I was going before I had my baby, um, I was not finding many shoes. They weren't really putting that many out there. So these I was really excited about, but apparently I did not look at them well enough because one of these boots is missing the lace up. You can see the other one has it. So I think I'm just going to, um, I think I have some like suede cord and I'm just going to replace the lace up on both boots and then obviously note that the lace was replaced because otherwise these are in really good condition. They just need to be like brushed off a little because they're a little dusty from being in the bins. But these are Sam Edelman. You can see, look at the bottoms there. Not very worn. Just need a little bit of cleaning up, but they are an over the knee. I don't know if they're faux suede or real suede. Let me see if it says. Um, they are leather. They are called the Vessi, V-E-S-E-Y boots, size eight and a half. But I think even with the replacement laces, I should be able to get... Ooh, Maybe around $50 for them. They're a really pretty boot and they're a nice fall color. These are in excellent condition. Somebody toss these back. Oh man, okay, I lied. They are not in completely excellent condition. They do have a little bit of cracking, but they are Allegria. Other than that, like a little bit of cracking, you won't even be able to see it on the patent leather. They are in really good shape. And the shoes were actually rubber banded for the most part this time, which is a very rare occurrence. So even with a little bit of damage, I should be able to get at least $30 for these Allegrias. I don't know what size they are. I'm guessing like a size 10. Okay, what else do we have? A pair of Paul Greens. These need to be cleaned up too. Pretty much everything from the bins needs to be cleaned up it's cheap so I can afford to uh, do some cleaning and some polishing. These are Paul Green's little leather flats. Um, yeah there's just not much else to say about them they definitely need to be cleaned up but Paul Green is really expensive retail those were probably in the $300 range new so I got them and hopefully I can get 30 to 40 dollars once they're cleaned up. This is definitely my most exciting shoe find. And apparently these are um, a rare pair of fry boots. They need a little bit of leather polish just for being tossed around in the bins, but otherwise they're in really good shape. I think these were called the Fay boot. Um, you can see the bottoms. They are in pretty good condition. These are a size six. Yes, size six. Um, so once I get these cleaned up, they should do well. Um, somebody commented on my Instagram and said that they sold this exact pair for $175. So we'll see. That would be amazing if I could get that much for them. They're a really pretty pair of boots though. So. Another pair of boots are these Clarks. They are definitely a little bit older, but they're in pretty good shape. And I think they're leather. 
yes they are leather and Clarks do good for me especially the boots they're a size 8 so I had to grab those um, hopefully I can get around $40 for those these are super cute another pair of Clarks and these are in really good condition they're a lace-up kind of like combat boot with a stacked heel um what size are they hmm, does not say on the bottom let me see size six um they're clark's indigo i don't know if indigo is the collection but it says clark's indigo on the inside very cute boots though and hopefully i can get like 50 maybe for those i'll have to see what they're going for but they are adorable nonetheless so many cute pairs of boots. Oh man, I kind of wanted to keep these. I don't know what size they are. Um, these are Vince Camuto suede over the knee boots. You can see they have adorable cutout detailing on both boots. Um, they are a nice gray color. They're definitely leather. They are definitely not my size. They're a size six. And these are the Corinda boot but they are in pretty good condition. So I don't know, I'll have to look those up, but maybe around 50, even 60 for those, we'll see. All right, this is a pair of Madewell flats, the little crossed, what would you call that, cross toe? I don't know, <laughs> it's open toe with like a little cross, like, I don't know. I'm rusty at these hauls, guys. I'm getting back into them. Okay, I'll get better. <laughs> Size eight. Um, these will probably sell for like 20 bucks. Nothing crazy. And they need to be cleaned up. But again, I can do that. These are super adorable. And they do have some wear. Um, I think I can polish them up a little bit. But they are Nike Air. And they are the Air Force Ones. Nike Air Force Ones with this lace detail. You can see what I'm talking about, the wear. Um, I think some of it will clean up, but I think they will sell even in the condition they are in. And they are a women's, women's size seven. Bottoms, yeah, I think they should do well. Not sure how well, but Hopefully $40, even with the wear. Okay. Uh, one more pair of shoes. These definitely need to be cleaned up. Um, they are Sorel boots. I'm never gonna pass up Sorel's husbands. So um, these I should be able to get $30 to $40 for. And they are a size US 7 women's. I like the back though, a little rainbow pattern. It does look like there is a little bit of wear on the elastic because it is like stretchy, but I don't know. I think they'll sell, so I got them. All right, so that is everything I have to share with you guys from the Goodwill outlet. Um, I had a really fun time shopping and hopefully I can go there sometime soon again and find some more good stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you guys are having a great week and a great week of sales. Until next time, bye guys.